<clears throat> Sound check, one, two, three. Sound check, one, two, three. Okay, so uh, I go live, uh, but I will need a little tiny thing to do. Okay, so uh, I go live, uh, but I will need a little tiny thing to do. So in case someone is here, in the meantime, while I'm doing what I'm doing here, uh, we can chat for a minute or two. I'm still here. <laughs> uh, I just need to pin something somewhere. What I'm actually doing right now, I'm trying to make a little advertisement of the stream. So maybe more people are going to show up. <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> Crestfallen Knight, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay, thank you. How are you doing? How's your leg? Yeah, I bet it does. That stuff doesn't go away so easily. Sadly, I remember um, once I fell in my school, I was climbing some shit, dumb kid, and I got actually hit somewhere around uh, where you got hit. 
I mean the same part of your leg, foot, whatever. And it was inflammated and hurting like crazy for a couple of months. Even though there was no fracture or something, but still. Uh, took a long while to heal. It will get better eventually. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And are you still uh, uh, teaching Ukrainian kids? Or do you have some sick days now? Yeah, I still do it. Damn. Do I have any benefits from doing it anyway? Like uh, some minimal wage payments or something? Or do you do this just because you're a cool guy? I'm trying to find an emoji of a Ukrainian flag and I cannot find it, like, what the fuck? Um, I'm writing an advertisement right now for this stream on Reddit. <laughs> okay, apparently it is not working. It is not working in my browser or something. But anyway. Uh, the last check, if I put something on. How do you feel about VTubers? There are so many of them recently. Okay. My comment is posted, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start the game. I do them just because I have the time. Well, this is very nice of you to do that. I don't know, I probably told you about that 10 millions of times already, but <clears throat> thank you for doing that. Mm, I really appreciate it. In the local school um, where I live, I see a lot of uh, Ukrainian kids roaming around, they talk to each other, they also it was at some point very awkward and very cute how uh, I witnessed once how a Ukrainian kid and a German kid were interacting and I don't know, it was so sweet, like so innocent. A Ukrainian kid said to a German kid something like, oh, thank you, see you next time and stuff, shaked his hand. Uh, and I don't know, the German kid didn't un understand a word from the what Ukrainian kid said. Uh, but still he was like, ha 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 ha. I don't know, cute, cute. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm switching the scene to a game. How do you hear me, by the way? Do you hear me well enough? Because uh, the last time I was streaming, I was actually agile like a fire truck and I dumped my mic in the cup of tea. And I'm cautious that something might get wrong with it. I might get another student. How many do you have right now? Oh shit, uh, the game broke, one sec. It was not full screen. I wait till the game is being displayed on the screen and uh, then I proceed. Sound is fine. Nice, nice. I've picked up a lot of shit, an artifact. Cool. So, should I quickly recap for you uh, what were we after recently and what have you missed? The moment I go through that uh, transition to a different location, some scripted stuff is going to happen and I will not talk during that time. Lugs. Lugs are fine when entering a packed location. I just want to get rid of that artifact that we just found. Hey. Four plus extra sometimes when my friend is ill. Oh, so you are not doing it alone? You have a friend with you? Shit, we have only a pistol, we are completely forgot about that. <coughs> so first things first, after we go through, I need to find a new gun, because I dumped my gun, since it was not that really cool. <coughs> Sorry. So, I go through the transition. And you tell me if you want to have some recap about what's happening. Yes, yeah, the same one I talked about in an earlier Skyrim stream. Aha! Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So, some scripted stuff is going to happen now. Let's just watch. Here we go. Uh, I forgot to stop the music, I apologize. That guy said hush hush, and then they killed a couple of duty members. That's a nice gun, by the way. Oh, that's a nice gun. And what is that pistol? All right, doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Thinking anarchist. And now, by witnessing this little scene, we have unlocked a new side quest, but it involves into choosing a side and siding either with duty or with freedom. So let's hope that we are not ge going to be shot here because there is a sniper over there. There he is. And we can clearly see that he's hostile. Uh, 
But he is hostile if we are from this side of the fence. If we go to their base, uh, he is not going to be hostile. The guys here are going to ask us to. I got a job for a good shooter. Come up if interested. Or piss off. As the skull, right? Yeah, skull. So he's asking us if we are willing to go and break the wall and clear the base of uh, freedom. But I'm not really into it, not in this game at least, uh, because, I don't know, I'm kind of trying to... Ooh. Who is talking? Holy shit, it's spooky. Side quest, that is the one you weren't sure about doing. Yeah, and I don't want to do it. I'm kind of trying to stay uh, neutral, you know? I don't want to be involved in... Who's talking? Damn, that crap, I... Can I break it somehow? There's probably a stash behind it. Okay, let's quick save. Oh, it moved. God damn it. Please, just move the hell out. Oh shit. If it works, it works. Aha, here is the stash. Oh, nice ammo, by the way. I take it. <clears throat> yeah, so I just want to be, you know, just a random guy that is passing by and not creating any trouble. But how I mentioned in one of the previous streams, if you have never done it, I recommend you creating a separate save and doing it because it's kind of cool. I don't know, you just go to the wall, explode the wall, uh, lots of shooting and stuff. Uh, but I have done it so many times at this point, so... Not that funny for me. Not that interesting and entertaining. What we do now... So we need to get here. There is a checkpoint, but there is a village. And we will need to go to that village as a part of a side quest, another side quest that I might actually take. Let's see, if someone is offering this side quest, I'm going there. Because there I'm going to get a weapon that I would really like to have. And sorry for the freezes, it's all mods. There is nothing you can do about that, even the top tier YouTubers that I watch, that play Stalker with top tier PCs and stuff, an anomaly. Uh, they also have freezes when they play modded stalkers, just because of how the game behaves. Who is yelling? Someone is fighting. And by the way, the wolf from Cordon, he's way over there. I believe this is him. But no, Father Diodor, but this is a set stalker, it is not a random guy. <clears throat> the wolf should be somewhere around there, next to him. Someone is yelling constantly. What's up, rumbling man? Looking to drop it. Uh, to, <laughs> to drop it. To drop in at our place, huh? Something like that. How about joining us, eh? How about not? I'm here on business. Come on, join us. It's a lot of fun. I'll think about that. And I'm not sure that you can actually join them. But I'm pretty confident, uh, not even confident, I'm sure that you can join duty. But in order to do so, you need to wipe out this base. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, what exactly, who exactly is given that side quest? Jorah Scythe. I'm looking for the leader of freedom. I've got extremely important information for him. Oh, and just how important isn't? I came across a group of duty members not far from your base. 
Uh, uh, looks like duty is trying to equalize again. Yeah, sure. So let me go and talk to the guy. And by the way, this guy, uh, behind him, they have an armory. <laughs> Wanna see some funny exploit? Oh, that's a trader, by the way. Um, Wanna see some funny exploit? Uh, how to make him go away and steal everything they have? It's uh, pretty easy. Kill the guy. Quick save. Kill the guy. Quick load. He will start panicking because he will feel that in some alternative reality his twin got killed. But they will not be host... Wait, what? Something is glitching terribly. Okay, he didn't panic. Let's try that again. Did they fix it in the mall? Hi, Delarasha. Hi, hi, hi. Really, he's not going to move? That's so weird. I guess... So, the mods that we have installed, uh, they patch a lot of... Dubstep. Uh, they patch a lot of stuff. That guy panicked. He was he started breathing fast and stuff. But the other exploit that we can do. Let's quick save just in case. I like quick saving. We can dump our suit on the floor. And we can just stumble it in the guy and just push him off the way. Because you cannot push uh, NPCs. <laughs> yeah, but he <laughs> he's going to spam you with some random stuff. <clears throat> Bro, I really want to show people what's there in the armory. Let's try it again. Come on, suit. Let me go. Okay, you know what? After uh, you kill him, and holy shit, is it loud. Now I close myself here. Yeah, and here you can find some very nice guns. Generally, I swear it works in the vanilla version. It does. Because I have been doing it so many times in my life, and this game haven't received um, lots of patches, you know. Uh, how long is Stalker hour-wise, by the way? Uh, depends on how you play it and how many side quests uh, you do. Because uh, the way I play it, you spend, I don't know, eternity, because I usually walk around, look at things, talk to people... Uh, try to break some mechanics in order to get in the armory. Yeah, and apparently it didn't work. That guy has a bound location. He's not moving from it, but in vanilla he does. Yeah, so answering your question, six to eight hours. Yeah. And here in the armory we can find this grenade launcher which is the second location in game where you can find it. Uh, the first one I will show you later. Oh. Yeah, so this grenade launcher is a pretty fun thing. Holy shit, is it loud? Can you even hear my voice? Because they shoot so much. Reloading takes forever. Okay. A quick load. Okay, maybe one day I'll play too. Let's see. Sure, go ahead. I can highly recommend this game because the atmosphere here is so freaking cool. So yeah, the guy doesn't give a shit. 
Everyone got panicked. They started running around aiming weapons, but this guy, I don't know. He doesn't care about his alternative reality clones. The atmosphere here is really nice and it is really easy to get lost. And by the way, in vanilla, those TVs, they show some, I don't know, women's asses <laughs> close up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, a skull. Buy skull. So, this guy is the main guy of duty. Uh, no, of freedom, sorry. Lukash or Lukash, whatever. And you can say like, yeah, there, there are a couple of duty members that want to get rid of you. Mm. Yeah. And then you have to counterattack duty. But I don't know. I don't want to do it. I don't want to fight these people. Who is given the quest to clear the village? That's what I'm looking for here, actually. I am I know I mess around a lot, but uh, the main question is, someone should give us a quest to clear the village from some mutants. But who is doing it? There is another important character standing here. How heartless not to not care about your alternative reality clone. I know, right? Damn. What a bastard. And that music, by the way, it's a mod music. Uh, they play guitars also in the vanilla, but that mod music is actually copyright protected and every stream I'm getting copyright striked. Not striked, but claimed for hearing all that on the background. But whatever, doesn't impact, doesn't impact the stream quality. Okay, let's not look over the fox's uh, shoulder. This is a nice gay, nice guy, sorry, nice gay lol. <laughs> <laughs> he is constantly stoned as hell and when you talk to him, he's going to say some bullshit. Yeah, his dialogues are completely retarded. And I don't remember what's about that guy, but there is a quest. Um, to either drink with him or something, so he gives you some information about where to find some stuff. But that's a side quest, uh, I believe, uh, one of the side quests of duty. Do I need some? Tin cans. So yeah, since I'm not really into messing up with my relationship between duty and uh, freedom, because later it is going to create some trouble, we will need to either <clears throat> walk past like you don't belong here and just see people killing each other, or we will need a separate location to clean out of either duty members or freedom members. So yeah. Let's just leave them be. <clears throat> we can go and and quickly check the swamp. We can hear some distant yelling, some crazy guys, and there are mines. We have to be careful. That's a freedom member. And sadly, I believe we are not able to save him, but he's completely mad. And he's half zombie fight. I don't remember if he has anything special, but let's just check just in case. Insane stalker from the... Yeah, he has the crazy stalker flash drive. But who needs it? I really don't remember. Yeah, so let's leave him be for now. I don't want to go for a killing spree and killing, I don't know, <laughs> every quest NPC that we need. Might need, because 
yeah, the game is not really cool with scripts and the scripts are pretty easy to break. So this whole location, these army warehouses, is only for side quests. There are no main quests that take place here. And you can mess around and just talk to people and what I do here, I just show you around. So the wolf should be here, right? Master, Smartas, Father Diodor. But oh no, I know where the wolf is. Prepare yourself. Tada! Wolf. Uh... He actually had some really nice stuff to tell us. Died right next to a bottle of vodka. Holy shit. Look, he looks like he was trying to reach it. What the fuck? Ay, 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 ay. Poor fella. It was so obvious that vodka is not going to bring you any good. And then he was just... Yeah. Burnt on the work, let's say, lol. Ah, classic. Such a stalker classic. Some... NPCs, they just spawn some around here. Uh, or they just walk through the fire pit and they just get damaged and die there. Wolf, holy shit, you were the main guy in the rookie territory. Experienced. Not so experienced after all. But yeah, I don't remember what are those guys up to. I told you the wolf should be here, and he was there. Dang. This guy is the baddest guy. Good day, can you tell me something interesting? Oh, with every day there is more and more crap coming out of the scorcher. And this is exactly where we are going to go. What? Okay. He made some attack noises. Can you tell me something? Maybe? I don't remember if they have any side quest. Vodka is life. Well. Try again. Look at this picture and try again. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta drink to numb the pain, I guess. Yeah, maybe that's exactly what he was doing. Drinking while burning alive. Sounds legit. So, let's go to the village. And let's talk to... Sounds very Soviet. Yeah, I guess. Damn, that sun is so freaking bright. We have a couple of folks here. Let's see what they're up to. Maybe they are, uh, give us the quest to clean the village. Murik. What brought you here? What's so bad about this place? Who knows what's going on here? Looks like the village is now home to a swarm of bloodsuckers. A couple of our folks went into the village and never came back. So, you're not sure yourself? Right on. If you have nothing else to do and your head isn't working right, you're welcome to take a stroll through the village. Pfft. Of course I will. Because we can find... Someone messed up with the sound uh, stuff because every time we enter the village, uh, the house, we hear some echoing voices. Okay. One of these houses has a very interesting cellar, but sadly I don't remember which house. Close your ears, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. It didn't glitch like it used to glitch on Cordon. Some dead folk here. Wait, cellar is downstairs or upstairs? I hear you. Show yourself. Uh-huh. 
Ага. Probably echoes from the past. Yeah, you know, actually, I thought about that first time I, enco I encountered it. So maybe there is a part of truth in it. Aha! So here is this dry guy. He keeps the second spot for this unique grenade launcher to spawn. Let's have some grenades and have some fun. Luckily the mutants cannot climb the ladders, so we should be fine here and safe. I smashed that thing with my face. Ow. Okay, we're fine. I just didn't really feel like shooting him with the grenade launcher, point blank, you know? Those are, by the way, anomalies. You don't run next to them, because they're going to break your suit very fast. Another point of interest in this village, oops, a lag, a quick save just in case, is this tower. Where is he? I can hear them. Okay, false alarm. I wonder if they can give us a kiss, because occasionally they can suck your face, like, really. Oh, there's another one, let's test it. Come on, kiss me. Okay, he doesn't want to, because... Really, occasionally they can just grab you and give you a nice and juicy tentacle kiss. But I don't know what is the chance for that to happen. Oh no! What do we need to do in the village? There is a side quest, right? So these are the folks that went missing. I also wonder how that pistol looks like. Hmm, pretty cool. Yeet. Uh, yeah. So, point of interest, that's what I was talking about. On top of this tower there should be something and people really like in different modifications putting some secret stashes on top but yeah i guess in our case this stash is not active but here look oh this is a unique artifact it has no downsides only benefits plus 30 percent impact amazing so maybe i will get rid of this one and use this one nice and here is some minor stuff, but at this point we are too overpowered. Okay, how about we hit down? Because fall damage is a joke in this game. I want to shoot someone with this grenade launcher, or we can bring it back to duty. And they can give us some... something, I don't know. I don't remember already. Somewhere around this car. Aha, uh -huh, I see the stash. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you have lunch already? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that uh, recently 
I wake up right uh, when it is lunchtime. So, yes, I had my lunch already. What about you? Oh, I know we will keep this weapon because soon we will have some some border to protect, let's say. You'll see what I'm talking about. What brought you here? Uh... Oh, this is the guy that we are supposed to talk to. Uh, kill the bloodsuckers. So apparently we haven't killed all of them. Let's go and check again. I'll just try to randomly shoot around and maybe alert them. Come, fresh meat. Task failed, camp elimination. Ah, yeah, that was one of the timed tasks that uh, I have never asked about. And we just received them from whatever. I'll buy lunch after the stream. How about you, Delarasha? Come. I have no idea where is those where is those bloodsuckers. Maybe you should just ignore this task. But the problem is that the mods that I have installed, uh, the author, they said not to keep too many tasks in your PDA because it might actually cause some crashes. Wow, radioactive as shit. Oh, do you know what's this? I don't know if they, cha uh, if they changed the texture, but this is, this is not a stash. This is a grave of uh, a fang. A fang is a friend of Strelok. And in the original, in the vanilla game, it has something written on it, but I don't remember what. So a fang and a ghost, those are two friends of Strelok. And they both died. I had the same lunch as VL, and later I'm going to make pizza for us. I have one of these cool pizza ovens and I'm waiting for the doll to rise right now. Cool. Yes, it is cool. I'm going to eat a shit ton of pizza. And I will feel very bad, but I will not regret my choices. Finally, holy shit. Oh, some friends meeting here. Lots of heads on the spikes. Spinach, spinach, spinach. I don't know how to read it, but it sounds interesting. Hi. So, how did it go? I slaughtered those beasts. Wow, you showed them. Now that go see Skin Flint at our base. He pays for good work. I will. Pfft. Now we just have to go on their base. But, but, first I go to the checkpoint. Um, yeah. There is no such thing as too much pizza. Exactly. Yeah, can support that. Can stand behind that opinion. Or in front of it. Or, you know what I mean. Spinach with some feta cheese might be a good idea. Is it? What is it? Uh, spinach? 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 Are those veggies? Am I doomed to eating veggies on my pizza now? That is always a great taste. 
<laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, someone died in here. Ow. So, the checkpoint. Here we are going to find another unique weapon that I would really like to keep for myself, but not give to someone as a part of some side quest. But we better not use any grenades here, because we might damage the weapon. Давай, давай, сука. One more. Ah, oh, nice weapon. Ah, oh, nice artifact. But minus endurance. Where's the last one? Some ammo that we don't need. Spinach is spinat. You know it. Okay, okay, gotcha. Some... And then you tell me that I have a weird pizza taste. Sure, sure, of course. Okay. Uh, the unique weapon that I'm talking about is right here. And usually it's supposed to stick out of these thongs or whatever. Yeah. Look at this beauty, Sniper Tier S301. What the fuck? The normal Tier S has a better accuracy and a better rate of fire. But look how it looks like. Oh, baby. Oh, it's not loaded. Chihuahua. It's supposed to have a muffled sound because it has a muffler, but it sounds exactly the same. Okay. And it cannot be switched to. Yeah, it can be switched to automatic, but the rate of fire is shit. Oh, well. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> And now it looks so cool. And we will save some ammo with that thing. Drop, uh, unload, drop the scope. We will we will keep the scope for another weapon that we are going to find. This weapon, thank you for your service. Drop. Yeah, let's run around with this one for a bit. Should be pretty accurate, right? Since this is sniper variant and stuff. There is no thing like bad pizza taste except for pineapple, my Italian friend. <laughs> so, once we were in Italy. One sec, let me get the rest of my endurance artifact, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, once we were in Italy and we went to a pizza place. And holy shit, I have never seen so many pizza variations. You could have a pizza with literally anything but pineapple. There is no way for you to get a pineapple pizza there, but I don't know. We entered the cafeteria and they had a menu on the wall. And they said like, yeah, choose whatever you like. But I got so lost because there were like I don't know, 80 pizzas or something. Like, no jokes. 80 pizzas to choose from. And there was also some variants, like, uh, we pick ingredients for you. Uh, it's probably for such people that cannot decide what pizza they want. But I don't know. Pizza is an art. Yeah, I guess so. Even though... I believe originally pizza was supposed to be uh, poor people food, right? 
Why not? They're wasting our stamina so fast, we better go and trade with someone and get rid of some shit. Hi. That's right. What is tough, average. He gave us a crystal. A crystal. Minus endurance. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Here we go. I don't need those things. I also waste this. This I'll keep for now. Uh, ammo, do we need much? No, maybe get rid of some medkits. And pistol ammo, we don't need the pistol anymore, so he can have it. And bloodsucker stuff. And... Uh, Are you fucking kidding me? That's a trader that has not enough of money. Okay, okay, whatever you say. Yeah, but not anymore. <laughs> yeah, obviously. It was kind of poor food. There is nothing really expensive in it. Nowadays, people put a lot of meat, but it wasn't always like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. What a poor freaking trader, like, come on. Just buy this ammo. What a stupid trader, FBI. like, I swear. Pizza is now for everyone. Yes, it is. Uh, pizza has everything you need. Bread, vegetables, meat, fish, some cheese, luckily. You know what they say? Uh, for example, the donor, right? You know what the donor is. Uh, they say it is actually uh, a very good food because it has... Because it has vegetables it has some depends on your preferences some grain bread uh it also has meat it has pretty much everything and it is not that fried so you pretty much eat healthy it is a lot more healthy than some random burger <clears throat> which bread there are some many types Ah, <sighs> Brad, here we go again. Let Delarasha tell you about Brad. <laughs> I mean, real Brad, like... Bio, Bauern, Bauern Kruste, or any bread with good crust, Rogen Misch Brot, or V, V, E. Yeah, every kind besides protein bread. <laughs> <clears throat> so, when we go over there, we will need to do stuff. I cannot say that I don't like bread, but I eat very little of that. And the only bread type that I don't like is a bread bowl. I don't know. Just an absolute Stalker, crime. We're going to fight some people now. On the barrier. Sup? You're just in time, okay. I know that I'm just in time and I go on that tower because it will be the easiest to kill people from there. 
The monolith is going to attack them, by the way. Oh, trees. Welcome back. Those barrels are explosive, by the way. And now we're just going to wait for those folks to get a little bit closer. Shit, they see us already. Oh no, they saw us. Boop. Boop. And another one. And now we don't need this weapon anymore because we have no ammo for it. And now Freedom are our friends. As you see on the minimap, they all become green. Well, this cop is us. But this one is the first wave. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, I... I rush back. Can you freaking die already? Sorry, uh, I cannot keep up with the chat at this particular moment. We need a better gun. There is one more. Oh, holy shit, what is that huge red dot on the map? Why are you so red, bro? Ripironi. We will get a sh no, I don't want to move to the next location and it teleported me. Somewhere where I don't want to be. Okay. No, please. What the fat fucker? Holy shit. One more? No, still two. We need to get closer somehow. No way we are going to shoot them with this weapon. And they don't want to get closer. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you talk about bread, gotcha. <laughs> I have nothing really to contribute to that conversation since I'm not really <laughs> a bread guy. Finally, at least one of them. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, so now... Let's loot the bastards, and I would really like to get this weapon instead. Unload the rope. Either some mods met something up, or uh, this weapon is not that good actually. 
drop. Which one is worse? Drop. Lots of dead folks here. Lots of dead folks. Maybe some of them are going to give us uh, some stashes that we don't have yet. We need, we really need a scope for our weapon. I'll keep this ammo, I don't know why, but I feel like keeping it. Because feels like we're going to need it. Well, how about Brodhin wheel? <laughs> Which one is your favorite? My favorite Brodhin is a Bratze, if it is a Brodhin. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I eat it fairly often, actually. Let's see what those folks dropped. Oh, an artifact, thanks. Someone is dying here and no one wants to help him. What's here? Nothing. Some ammo that I don't need. Are you alive? Okay, these are all nice and smooth. Give money. Thank you. A bretze is not a brodhim, but that's fine. <laughs> In my eyes, it is a brodhim. <laughs> Let's run around with this gun for a bit. We have no scope for it, but that's fine. This is a very nice endgame weapon, by the way. Dan, you probably like this... Uh, Waldmeister Brothin. Maybe, I don't know what is that. Damn. Do you want to scare me or something? You know I'm afraid of those long German words. <laughs> we need to keep track of our inventory since... Uh, the moment we are getting over encumbered, our game is going to crash. They don't want to trade with us, bitches. I want to get rid of that artifact. Oh. Poor guy. Okay, whatever. We will not see any friendly NPCs in a while. After... Uh, so, when we go to the next location... Here is the road goes meow meow meow. And we end up here. At the Red Forest. But this is not Red Forest, this is a Scorcher. But whatever. Uh, in a long while after now, we are going to see some friendly NPCs. And then we go to Pripet. And the point of Pripet... What? It's right here. Are we getting attacked again? No, 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 no. I'm out of here. Wait. There are probably mutants that are coming, right? I always buy one Mon Brothing at Miltzers before school. What is it? Yeah, monsters. Okay, I'm out of here. They will deal with the monsters. So, what is it? Mon Brothing. Brothing. I have troubles with umlauts. 
Brötchen. Okay, here we go again. Maybe I should switch to a single fire mode so we can save some ammo for later. First enemies are here. Better than buying pudding Plätzchen or Schweine Ohren. Schweine Ohren! Ooh, lecker. I like Schweine Ohren if I get got it right. Are we talking about big ears? Because I like big ears. Oh my god. Here we go again. He died in the anomaly. What a champion. Thank you. He saved us some time. What? Box, break. Mon is poppy seeds, I believe. Ah, yeah, I know it. Ooh, damn. That's what, that's what is going to happen to you if you don't brush your teeth. Sorry. Uh, you know, I just want to check real quick. How good is the scopes that we have in our inventory? It's so freaking good. Turns out, holy shit. Some de dead folk here. With some ammo. And the grenades that I want to have. There is a sniper. There he is. And I shot him in the crouch. I apologize. Oh, that's a zombie. Nice. Yeah, they're also really expensive. What about Schwein Oren and Sweets? From what I know, Schwein Oren are not really Sweets. There's a sniper far away. And he's going to cause some troubles later. Here we can find a little secret. Let me check real quick. Have we had... No, we haven't. One stash with some very nice soup later. Here we can find some juicy stuff. This I don't need. This I need. Ow. Let's actually play with a sniper rifle, lol. I sent you a picture of the Schweine Oren. Let me check. I'm curious. <laughs> lol. Really? Is this how you call them in German? My god. Why not like butterflies? Come on. Schweine Oren, holy shit, cruel. So, there are two ways from now on how to get to our objective. Oh, yeah. Okay, drop the weapon. Reptironi. They don't let me talk. This is so sad. So from now on, there are two ways for our objective. Either go through this forest, but there is a shit ton of mutants and anomalies, 
all kinds of mutants, all kinds of anomalies. Or on this road, like me, we, 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 we. Here, there's nothing to do. This is a location that was never really used. But it was. Yeah, and you better don't stay next to metal objects because here's a. Uh huh. Uh, here the radiation is a bitch, a crazy bitch. So here we have nothing really to do, but we can just go there and look around. Here we cannot go yet because of the Psy activity and it is going to kill us. And here is the goal. Okay. I mean the past tree, but there is also the Katya's version, I believe, which is straight up sweets. Katya's is like Katya. Die already, holy shit. Our character wants to eat. Is there someone wounded? I see some red dot. But no one is trying to shoot me or something. Ooh, nice. Nice medkits. Very, very lekka. Oh yeah, he's wounded. Okay. Well, I just had 144 pixels on the stream. Oh, for me it's fine. Let me check real quick. I see no errors and for me everything is also fine. 180. I want to find that sniper because I want to play with the sniper rifle now. Where's your weapon? Aha. Uh -huh. Free ammo! Shit! Where are you? Ow. It actually hurts. <gasps> I have no bandages anymore. Ow! Where was he? I believe there is going to be an RPG guy. Uh -huh. Bitch, get wrecked. Okay. Zaman elite. Damn, so much of radiation. Probably from my side, this happens from time to time. Game over. <laughs> okay, so I need a short break and uh, I will be back in 5 to 10 minutes. And I will play some elevator music in the meantime. Okay, be right back.
Okay, I'm back and answering your question, it is five minutes. Just the habit of saying be back in five or something. And usually people understand that it's five minutes. Ooh, stretch. I'll get some tea. I need some something to drop my mic in low. Uh, I just need some fuel. I don't know. I need coffee or tea constantly since uh, my brain just stops working when I don't have any. I don't know oil for it for the gears to spin. Oh, nice. Okay, music stop. Okay. Scene changed. A safe. Yeah, those snipers actually hurt you quite a plenty. And even more, there will be more advanced snipers that will just one shot us if they hit us. Where was that sniper anyway? I want to kill him first now. Okay, we're fine. Aha! Aha! Bitch! Quick scope didn't work. Okay, buy weapon. Ay, ay, ay. And we actually need to harvest some bandages because I have no bandages. Oh yeah, by the way, I keep forgetting that all the metal stuff here is radioactive as shit. Bandage, nice. The weapon has jammed. Shit. And we don't have so five Bratwürstel. Oh yeah, baby. I mean, send me in. Oops, I took this by accident. Should I collect this ammo? Okay, I will. Because soon we are going to run out of... Oh, nice. Another sniper weapon. Scary. Damn. In future games, they will implement some quick slots and it will be a lot easier to handle such stuff when you have lots of medications or whatnot. That's an RPG guy. Is he going to shoot me? Sniper dies first. I want him to shoot me. <laughs> shoot me with an RPG. Let's go. What if I go point blank? Is he going to shoot? Oh, he's running away and he's switching to a pistol. <laughs> okay. Worth a try. Wow, I'm a nice shooter. Creep. But guess who is going to have an RPG now? Oh baby. Meow. Ripironi, holy shit, have how many of them have I killed? Like five in one shot. Some apocalyptic weapon there. Oh nice weapon. But I don't like it. In this uh, uh, in this mod, this weapon is us. I'd rather play some sniper shit, but where did he drop his weapon? Aha. Ah, uh, condition zero. Ripironi. It's all because I shot it with a grenade launcher. Medkits? No? Uh, 
some food. Let's take some bratwurst. Bratwurst. I don't need any of those. So. That's a turn. Should we look through? There is not much. Just a pretty decent location to check. Let's go. It's not that far. Ooh, an anomaly right on the way. There is nothing to do. Not a single quest leads you there. But my exploration spirit asks me. And holy shit, do I wish we had more endurance artifacts. Just die already, holy shit, bruh. What a bullet sponge. Some AK. Oh, a bandage. A bandage, damn. That's what I like. <coughs> Hi. Oh, two bandages. Holy shit. We are so lucky today. Okay, for now we have enough. Beef. And now we have only some armor pricks in ammo. We don't have any regular ammo. Oh, baby. Okay, time to switch a weapon. I like this one. It looks interesting. But I don't know, I really like this weapon uh, when I was playing it. GP37. It's pretty powerful, actually. Some ammo for it, and now we don't have to carry this. Dismount we'll scope just in case I'll keep it and drop. Okay. This is supposed to be an entrance to another laboratory, which was never actually in the game, sadly. Yeah, so... This location supposed to be used, but it never was. Instead, we are going to a different laboratory right now. And I'm thinking maybe after that laboratory we stop and next time I stream this game, we are probably going to finish it. <coughs> Because after this laboratory, there is pretty much a straightforward, a straightforward goal. Get somewhere, do something. Cut content? Uh, yes. There is a lot of cut content in Stalkers that was never implemented, like transport, for example. Uh-huh. Hi. Is he a sniper? Yeah. Transport some locations that we have never seen before. Lots of locations got changed in the process because this game was developing very long. Like, way too long. Later on in future games, they actually finished lots of features. And the artifact system starting from the next game is going to be a lot more advanced. They will be a lot more balanced. They will not feel like some useless trinkets. They will actually do things, you know. Damn, that guy was there. Right? Yeah. I want to have his weapon and his ammo. And his bandage. That I didn't pick up. Eat. Let's go. Eight ammo. 
Aha. Aha. Drop. Holy shit. One shot in his body. There we cannot go yet because we are going to die. Oh, some nice ammo. Okay, I will not waste this ammo. Please. My hands are so freaking short. Okay, so once you hit them, and they instantly drop in some uh, wounded animation. They can actually bleed out here. It's very loud. Uh, it's not that obvious, but some enemies, once you hit them, they're just going to run around for a bit and then die. Because they're bleeding. What a fat fuck. Keep ammo on the master difficulty, by the way, they barely drop any ammo. So there are some secrets here now. This guy is wounded, I don't want to finish him, but actually I might uh, finish him since he has the sniper ammo. So those scientists. Um, uh, hmm. I don't remember this weapon, but okay. I don't remember if there is a side quest about them or not. But yeah, research assistants, they uh, are named pretty generic and there are some mutants already. What are those research assistants? I have no idea. Probably some more cut content. The more we get to the end of the game, Uh, the more of cut stuff we encounter. Immersive, that sounds so cool. What sounds so cool? What's immersive? I'm just not sure that I got it. We need to get on top there because there is another secret. We are not really supposed to be here. E okay. I need some ammo. Oh, he has a bandage. Here is a combination lock. And let me try something. No? No, I don't remember what is the code for the door, but and it is, I believe, also nowhere to be found. But the code exists, actually. So, I believe it is this. I'm... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you cannot find it anywhere, but... Maybe it is also some cut content. Here you can find just a couple of medkits and this is it. There is going to be another door like that, that uh, we have no... <coughs> uh, no code tool but it exists and it, it can be open ah also those doors can be open with this weapon for example that i have in my hands if you throw it in it just clips through and pushes the door low the potential bleeding out from one shot yeah yeah so mutants actually the most frequent um, it is happening often to mutants when you shoot them with a shotgun for example you can just chase that mutant till it dies of bleeding some barrels are going to drop on us from the front. Prepare. Yeah, 
And they're all exploding, by the way. Nice. They're still exploding, by the way. Ow. Did they not hit me even once? And here we finally start having some phantoms. Because uh, the only thing that is keeping us from going insane and becoming a zombie is this Psy Helmet. More explosive barrels. Will he drop, no? No. Some of them, I don't know if you noticed, I hit them once in the chest and then they just drop on the floor. Okay. This weapon goes to trash. I hear the phantoms, but I cannot see them. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Those phantoms, they resemble some mutants that are attacking you in quotes. But they don't do shit to you. But, aha, uh -huh, there's a sniper. But they're supposed to get some of your cycles. Somewhere from fuck knows where, from those scorcher antennas. They're already shooting us. Oh, there is another one. So, and there are two ways in the factory right now. Around here, but it is heavily radioactive, like shit radioactive. I don't want to go there. Or around here, which I usually take. Another sniper. They have so many snipers all over. And later on, they're going to be so much more dangerous. Hi, sniper rifle. Thanks. Two bandages. It's pretty hard to get a sniper rifle in the first game, I must say. There is one sniper, fuck knows where. I know where exactly, to be honest, but it's not obvious and he's going to drink some of our blood if we don't kill him. So I keep those sniper ammo for later. No ammo. Ah, no, jump. Okay. That's a phantom. There it goes. But you can shoot them before they come to you, actually, so... So, somewhere over there, on one of those antennas, there is a bitch that really wants to get us. Where are you? He's really far from here. Okay, nowhere to be found now. Big sad, big sad. Ammo we need to collect because the next laboratory is going to be fucked with enemies. Find the entrance to the control bunker. Where, where, where? Aha, there he is. Okay, we don't hit each other apparently. Ow. Ah, uh, finally. So we can roam around and find some supplies in such houses. 
but in some houses it is pretty hard to get like for example yeah ignore all of them low in this one it's a pain in the ass to get inside you need to get on the roof and holy shit this place looks so freaking cool I need to take some screenshots. Can I? I cannot. Lol. Yeah, because uh, Steam is not really connected right now to this game since uh, this is modded and I'm launching the game not through Steam. Because if I do it through Steam, the mods are not going to work. This gun that I have right now, it is so freaking cool, it's powerful, it's not shooting around, you know, the bullets are not flying, fuck knows where, but holy shit, is it hard to find ammo for it. I mean, you can always just go to a trader and buy it, but the inventory management system, and you know, it's like, go fuck knows where, buy a little of ammo, because... Because you cannot carry that much. It's us. Oh, there. Well, he was wounded. I don't know. I uh, messed up his animation. And he fell on the floor. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he was not here. I didn't see him on my uh, radar. On my minimap. Okay, let's go to the bunker. Bunker, sorry. Some important story stuff is going to happen there. And by the way, speaking of story, our character keeps writing stuff in his personal notes, but we never read it. So, here, diary, personal note, and he's explaining what's up. Who did we find it and stuff and those pdas are also pretty cool okay we are not here yet not on the big map we are on the small map somewhere what's here oh nice meds meds are cool at this point we find a lot more scientific kits than just normal standard ones and I find it to be very cool. Hmm. Let's see, there are mutants. And I actually expected this place to be a lot more packed. Right now there are no one. There is no one. And uh, you should not jump there, trust me. Yeah, I have no idea where all the enemies are, but I have a feeling that after we shut after we shut down those antennas, they're going to spawn. And that's another door. Some grenades. Okay, a quick save, and let me quickly check uh, and try to find. A key from the next door. Actually, uh, let me try something. We need to stay here and just toss our weapon. No, doesn't work. Probably will not work in the mod since it is not really penetrating okay the mod fixed it but okay i guess the code is this no not this one no what there are also some codes which are like 
leading you to nowhere. They exist, but there is no lock for that code. So yeah, the further you go, the more cut co content you see. That group of scientists, by the way, supposed to give us... Sorry. Uh, supposed to give us the code for the doors that we found outside. I just want to check what's behind this door. Up, ah, never mind. There is nothing. There is no room. How do I get down? Okay, so this door is not to be open. So sorry, sorry for the interruption. And yeah, I am super confident that we're supposed to encounter a lot more enemies here. Lots of monolith people, but apparently it was changed in this mod. Where is he now? Dead. Some meds. Oh, and some sniper ammo. Nice. Sniper ammo are welcome. We don't have a sniper weapon anymore, but I'll hold on to it for a bit, because what if we find one? And I kind of like playing as a sniper. Where to now? There is a way down. Is this... I don't know, I really don't remember it so well somehow. Maybe... It didn't seem like they changed the laboratory so much, but what if they did in the mode and I don't even know it? I haven't played this game in so many years, to be honest. So I cannot possibly remember everything. Oh, another door. So should we try our luck again? <laughs> with the codes. Okay. Aha! Some ammo, some grenades and some medkits. In such a weird room you can totally see that normally you're not supposed to be here. What do some I take? It's like something supposed to be here but it is just empty. Plain walls. This is how you know you encounter some uh, cut content. Sniper play is some of the most fun. Yeah, actually, it is. And I often play as a sniper in single player games, but in competitive games, uh, I suck as a sniper. Come out. Ah, uh, gotcha, bitch. Another one somewhere. And what is that sound? It is... Weird. It's not working as it is supposed to work. Nice. Nice. At least he's slow now. Stupid weapon. We need a new one. I mean, look at this. It's barely a dent in its condition, but it is already jamming like crazy. Oh, an artifact. Nice. Not like we need it. We have literally not a single soul to sell it to. And we will not see anyone super friendly anytime soon. I probably need to stop hoarding shit.
some Minecraft sounds though. Yeah, yeah, I'm like 110% sure there are supposed to be some enemies that we are supposed to fight on our, on our way here. But there is no one. It's a green barrel, okay. I thought that's a scientific suit or something. And here is the control room. And here we have to pull a lever. And those antennas are going to be shut down. And by the way, that door, it also has a code, but there is nothing behind the door. Sadly. So guys, prepare yourself for another uh, cutscene, yeah. Something is going to happen right now. Bam, bam, bam. What is here, stalker? Come. 19 enemies around us. Uh, maybe they are depressed because an alternate version of them died <laughs> and they decided to have some sick days. Another dream. I turned off the scorcher. For some reason, I lost consciousness just as I did it. Uh, then I had a dream. I saw again the massive Chernobyl power plant and the sarcophagus. Then a flash, the shining monolith inside the sarcophagus. I understand that it is the wish granting machine. A stalker exhausted and his tracks reaches feebly, feebly out to it. A bright flash and I see a fragment of the first dream. A man stands with his back to me and keeps shouting. Someone shouts, Trilog! The man shudders, freezes for a moment, and then starts to turn slowly. But the pictures slide past as if a film was played backwards, and I see how he uses his weapon to force the rats back into the station. I realize that I was there. I must go to the monolith. Pam pam pam. And we will find out the last bits of information about who Strelok is, who we are, and what it's all about. Oh, and we really need a new suit at this point, because our suit is, like, so bad already. People decided to ambush us. How long have we slept anyway? Maybe I should... Maybe I should have tracked that, actually. Bro. Is it only me, or would be nice to have some background ambient music? Because it's so quiet now. The machines are not working anymore since we turned them down. Oh shit, he's so fat. Oopsie. I barely survived this one.
No. I've been rushed. Dems are tough at this point. We're playing against master stalkers now. And if we check our PDA, it will also tell us that we're a master. Oh shit. And they're talking like they're robots at this point. I mean, those are monolith folks. They're completely brainwashed. They believe that the monolith is an entity, I don't know, something uh, sentient that has to be protected. And that sentient monolith is guiding them and showing them... Holy shit! They shoot us into another universe. My god. Uh, yeah. He's giving them orders and stuff, but what is the monolith? We are going to find out later, when we actually get to it. Okay. They're pretty dangerous at this point. Bro. What's he doing there? <laughs> Ow. That's a lot of damage. We're going to update our suit. Uh, We're going to have the same suit, but later in the game. So we are going to get more protection in the future. Why do they not give us the stashes? This guy is an expert, okay. And we are also an expert somehow, not a master. We need uh, to loot master folks because they give stashes. And those stashes are based on the rating of the guy. For example, this guy is going to drop expert stashes. But masters are going to drop master stashes. And our weapon is also not in the best shape, but we cannot get it brand new anymore. We will not see any single trader anymore. Oh, this condition is better. The monolith is probably the version of Spider-Man 3, some Sam Raimi and Vision. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure I understand what you're talking about right now. Later you will see that there really half zombies and in later games uh, they're also going to behave very weirdly get flunked low okay i will not take any medkits at this point for now at least Because so many of them, but there are still 12 of them on the radar. Did the wall just shoot me? What the fuck? Let's eat a sausage. No. In later games, uh, so here, hunger is actually not doing much to you. But in later games, it is taking away your stamina. It is not damaging your health, but you cannot really run around if you are hungry. Bandages. Sam Raimi is the director of the first Spider-Man movies. Sorry, Sony intervened 
a lot with the third one. He also directed LV Dead. I don't know what is LV Dead, sorry. I mean, I know the first three Spider-Man movies, but I cannot really put it in the context of Stalker Monolith. Ah, Evil Dead. Still cannot really uh, put it together. Minus two, holy shit. Sweet, sweet headshots. Oh, we missed someone. Someone is yelling behind us, but we are almost out of the laboratory. And by the way, soon you will see... <laughs> Damn, I'm 12. <laughs> soon you will see uh, what happens if you intervene with uh, freedom or duty. I mean, if you try to wipe some of them. And one of the endings uh, is actually about is going to be affected uh, by either you killed duty or freedom. It was a joke. Remy fans would do anything for Remy's version of Spider-Man 3. Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe we should just sprint out. No, there are only three folks. Okay, that one will not us will not let us go. Yes. People will start talking now. So no more psi activity detected and a shit ton of stalkers, military and everyone started rushing in the middle of the zone because they believe there is a field of artifacts. And they can just fight each other, Monolith is fighting military folks here right now, but we can just ignore it. I'll just take this ammo, but what did I take there? Something that I didn't really want to take, but okay. Let's use the second entrance that I ignored first. Some random dead folks here. So, and I was wrong also uh, about... Expert is the max rank, not master, because it used to be master in the Russian version. So, and now we are expert and we are top one in top stalkers, so we are the best ones. The best out of the best. Uh, 
And as Sidrovich just said, everyone rushed in. And there is a group of master stalkers waiting for us in Pripyat. And we need to get to them. Now we see a pretty big conflict between duty members and freedom members. And they are just shooting each other, so duty, freedom, 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 duty, duty. And you can stick around actually and uh, loot their dead bodies, since those are all experts. And they can give some really decent shit. Or they can also give some very nice uh, stashes. And I'm actually on the lookout for one stash in Pripyat, which was uh, given by some uh, expert. But I don't see any Pripyat stashes. This is so freaking weird. Because there we can find an exoskeleton, and that would be a perfect timing for it to appear, you know? Because. Uh, we could actually... Oh, nice. They have nice guns now at this point. Uh, we can find an exoskeleton there. And I would really like to have it. I mean, we had it. It didn't work as I expected, right? Uh, but still. We are not running around anymore so much, at least. This it? Freedom duty, freedom duty. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so all the duty members are dead and freedom is just finishing the wounded, the wounded ones. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We found the scope. And I believe we can dismount this scope from here and put it here. No, no, never mind. But I keep the scope just in case. We could mount the scope on this thunder, right? Come on. You should be able to. But okay. I don't want to use the thunder because it is way too freaking heavy. But you better get rid of some weapons at this point because we are very close to being over encumbered. So, duty lost. <laughs> this is so freaking sad. And a stash supplies of the leader of freedom. Ooh, sounds juicy. Let's see what they give us, but if we just quick save, quick load next to that guy before we loot him, he could give us different expert uh, stashes. Radic Dota 2, hello. Hello, Radic. But yeah, I guess we were not lucky enough to find that stash with an exoskeleton. Task failed, camp elimination. That was a task that I never asked about. But we got it anyway. Okay, the folks are killing... Uh, the members of Monolith over there. Clearing the pass for us, but we can always just help them with a grenade. Meow. And another one. Meow. And as we can see, uh, freedom members are our friends now. I don't know how the system really works, to be honest. But... Okay, you know what? I'm going to dump this weapon. I'm not sure we are going to find a scope for it. Since you cannot put this one on top then I really doubt that you can put anything on top at all. Maybe in this mode it is not working as it used to work in the vanilla version. So I guess I'm just going to stick with this weapon what I have in my hands right now.
So, I guess I'll just go to Pripyat at this point. And we are going to meet up. I'm from Russia. Cool. I'm from Ukraine. So we are going to meet up with that uh, group of veteran stalkers. And I'm going to stop it probably. Move to the next level. Yes, let's go. Gentlemen, listen closely. We're going to push forward to the station. The town is swarming with monolith bastards and other scum, so keep your eyes open and cover your back. That's it. Check your gun. We'll advance along the lane. Stand by 15 seconds. You must be the marked one. Barkeep spoke of you. Let's try and break through together. I know the path to the station. Go! How about you... Don't point your freaking weapon in my face. But yeah. This is a group of those veterans that uh, Bartender was talking about. And now we just need to break through the monolith. They sound very weird when they're walking because all of them have exoskeletons. Ow! We can just actually go forward and start cleaning stuff on our own because those folks, they are not that durable and I would like them to survive. So we can just go ahead, but we better keep our eyes open because some of those windows are not there. That, for example. He was right there. That was a bit of a mauling. I hear someone. Where from? Ah, from the window. Oh shit, I wanted to throw a grenade, but I'm afraid to kill our folks. It's a friendly one. Damn, I cannot shoot from here. Okay, they managed. Where are those folks? Are those freedom members? Yes, freedom, okay. <gasps> Damn, one of the guys. This is our guy. Yeah. Yeah, what's next? Should we loot them? Do I think we are going to find something cool from them? Those weapons are pretty nice, but they're freaking heavy and uh, you cannot put a scope on it. Oddly enough again, because in, in the vanilla version you were able to. And also behind that house we could find some ow. Some, <laughs> some ow, <laughs> some artifacts, but doesn't look like we can see any. Okay, 
Will they be... Yeah. In the kindergarten. This is a kindergarten, by the way. And fun fact... Uh, it was all made out of... Real places. Okay, we go first because it's going to be an ambush. And I want to protect our folks. That was not reloaded. Big set. Oh, the night vision is so shit here. Okay. Well played. Not well played. There are more. And they don't use our ammo anymore. This is so freaking sad. Bro, let me go. They use only that uh, brown ammo. But I cannot put any scope on that uh, brown ammo weapon. So the fox are going to say that uh, they're going to stay here to rest. So yeah, let them rest. Uh, let them also have my artifacts that I don't need anymore. And yeah, we have to move forward and go left out of the exit to proceed there, but we better not just yet. And that stash that I kept mentioning Reap, they're going to die. Shit, I should have not picked outside. They would have died in their anomaly. Never mind. The stash with the exoskeletons that I kept mentioning was placed behind those anomalies. There are so many of them around here. In under this cross, surrounded by anomalies. We ignore those folks for now. Here, it should be right here. But since we have no data for it, what are those things? Some Harry Potter magic here. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know. I get the hell out of here. Oh, nice! Finally, some of our ammo. Oh. The quests here, they might be a bit uh, confusing because right now it tells us to find a way into a sarcophagus. But actually, uh, when we look in our quests, we need to go to the hotel and get something from the hotel, because this is actually the true ending. The way to get a true ending. No. Is this Freedom Guys also here? For you? Is he from Duty? Yup, okay. Duty and uh, Freedom, they are all around here. But yeah. We better not go out, since there is a freaking sniper and he's hurting you a lot if he sees you, because he has some weapons that we have never seen before. At this point, I guess I'm going to stop and next time I, stre I stream, I'm probably going to be done with the game. Have you seen it? Pew, pew. This is going to kill us in one shot, probably. Yeah, next time we are going to finish the game and we are going to check all the endings possible. Yeah. So, yeah, this is it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking the stream. Thank you, Crystal and Knight, for being active in the chat. Without you, it would be boring here because people, you know, they often come and go 
lots of people they just check the stream and then leave without saying a word. So yeah, Christ for night. Um, uh, next time I'm going to stream, I don't really know when. <laughs> Uh, but I'll probably ping you in the chat. Tomorrow I have plans, so... If I manage tomorrow, then I'll stream tomorrow. If not, then I stream on Monday. So yeah. That's it for now. GGVP. And see you later. Goodbye, bon appetit. Oh yeah, going to eat some pizza now. Oh damn, I'm looking forward to eating so much that I cannot breathe properly. <laughs> I hope the pizza is good. I hope so too, Crestfallen. Okay, then, bye bye.